how the Duchess of Sussex has put her own unique twist on her wardrobe during the royal tour with Prince Harry by focusing on eco-friendly fashion. Meghan has done a brilliant job of paying tribute to the fashion industry down under while showcasing some British designers during the tour, but she has also put her own unique twist on her wardrobe by focusing on eco-friendly fashion. Since she began her, now defunct, lifestyle blog The Tig in 2014, Meghan has campaigned for a more sustainable planet, and her green credentials have never been more evident than in her outfit choices over the past fortnight. Dresses made from organic fabric, shoes of sustainable leather and jewelry crafted from recycled gold. Fashion powerhouse Stella McCartney is one of the Duchess of Cambridge's go-to designers, but Meghan too has a special connection to the daughter of Sir Paul McCartney. Not only did Stella design Meghan's evening wedding gown, she also shares her interest in sustainable and animal-friendly fashion. Meghan first wore Stella's 1,150-pounds navy cape dress for the Queen's 92nd birthday concert at the Royal Albert Hall in April, and she re-wore it for the opening ceremony of the Invictus Games, teamed with a coat by another female designer, actress Gillian Anderson, who has created a collection for British label Windsor. In one stroke, Meghan managed to promote British fashion, gender equality, sustainability and thrift. For her final day in Australia, when she visited Fraser Island, Meghan wore a 166 pounds pineapple maxi dress with a thigh high split from US label Reformation, which aims to put sustainability at the heart of its business. The company, which tracks its environmental footprint, states on its website Being naked is the number one most sustainable option. We're number two. On a visit to Dubbo, in New South Wales, Meghan chose a pair of 140 pounds Harriet jeans by the Australian brand Outland Denim, which employs Cambodian women who have been victims of sex trafficking. She teamed the jeans with an oversized 110 pounds boss blazer by her close friend, tennis player Serena Williams, who was a guest at her wedding, and shares her feminist credentials. In fact, Meghan chose a number of female designers to equip her, including Australian Karen G whose website crashed after Meghan wore her cream shift on the first day of the tour, the day she announced she was pregnant. She also wore outfits by London-based designers, including Roxendale and Sequile on a trip to a school in Sydney, New Zealander Emilia Wickstead, a 1,595-pounds Camilla coat dress for the Anzac Memorial Service, and Daniela Carnuts, a 1,095-pounds Ginkgo cape dress for a state dinner in Fiji. But Meghan knows it is accessories that make an outfit, and was equally in tune in her choice of shoes, bags and jewelry. Twice on the tour, she swapped her high-heeled pumps for 112 pounds flats by San Francisco startup Rothy's, which makes shoes out of recycled plastic bottles, instantly doubling their online traffic. And when she took part in a sailing competition in Sydney, she wore 115 pounds J10 vegan sneakers by French company Veja. The brand makes their trainers out of organic cotton, wild rubber from the Amazon and vegetable tanned leather. On her arrival in Fiji, she had a 173 pounds Anna woven straw clutch by KU. The U.S. company employs immigrant artisans from the Philippines, Malaysia and Indonesia to handcraft bags from natural materials. She also bought a woven bag made by women at Fiji Suva Market. When it comes to jewelry, one of Meghan's favorite designers is Pippa Small, who describes herself as an anthropologist, human rights activist and survival ambassador. Meghan has a number of her rings bracelets and studs made with Urkimer diamonds-quartz crystals, mined from the Mohawk River Valley in New York's Herkimer County. She has also showcased some new designs, the 115 pounds Ocean Bengal and 160 pounds Amin Bengal worn when she and Harry left Fiji were handcrafted in Kabul. And during the Invictus driving challenge on Cockatoo Island, eagle-eyed fans noticed she was wearing four rings by Canadian jeweler Eeksand which respects Mother Nature, and uses 100% recycled gold and traceable gems. 